Hello, good morning. It's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's trading session, the 27th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now where do we stand? Asian markets overnight certainly uh, mixed again. You have the Shanghai higher, especially given the fact that it's uh, sold off quite uh, prolifically as of late. Whilst the uh, Nikkei was down, the BOJ kept uh, okay, was on hold. Nothing new there, in terms. Although they have been running simulations, folks, with regards to uh, potential tapering. So bear that in mind. But again, this market certainly seems to be uh, hell bent on moving higher, regardless of any bearish arguments at present, which is uh, uh, really um, confusing, very very hard to understand and interpret. I'm still negative for the week, by the way. Still uh, hit hard with the uh, gap higher from Fran French cat down. I was minus 140 on that trade starting off currently minus 220 at the moment still negative this week so it's been very hard for me to read even in the currency markets the markets have been uh, wildly fluctuating as well so interesting scenario there in terms of currency markets the euro has been oscillating up and down on the back of uh, potential um, this tax plan and then obviously the ecb potential leak uh, that they are going to be tapering uh, sooner than expected so that certainly is interesting see how the market obviously reacts to that okay now ECB should do shortly in the next hour or so. So uh, again, let's see exactly where uh, the markets are present and obviously we can try and forecast where they'll go. Uh, again, increased volatility in Europe and should obviously uh, increase. Uh, if Mr. Draghi obviously is dovish and talks the euro down, equity markets continue to move higher. Now, uh, let's, uh, let's just quickly go on to the, uh, the actual economic data today. It's the economic data so far this morning certainly supporting European equities. I did have a uh, short CAC open, given the fact that Mr. D uh, Trump's tax plan overnight was the short on details and short on any substance, really. Again, that that in and of itself is a risk of trade. Now, uh, the uh, actual, um, let's just have a look here. So German uh, consumer confidence certainly came in stronger than expected. Okay, CHF trade balance as well, certainly uh, slightly improving there as well. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, unemployment, uh, the number in um, Spain certainly increased, so again, that certainly is a cause for concern, and the inflation rate certainly increased as well. Consumer confidence in Italy certainly uh, came in uh, on in, in line potential beat. Uh, okay, uh, also uh, European uh, services sentiment stronger than expected. Uh, consumer confidence more or less flat. Industrial confidence stronger. Uh, business climate stronger. Okay, sentiment indicator potentially stronger as well. So economic data is certainly coming in line and helping the uh, the European equities this morning. Okay, so again, uh, certainly negating any chance of the markets falling at present. Now we do have ECB uh, interest rate decision, and we have uh, uh, German CPI data that will be uh, a market moving in terms of the euro and obviously the impact that it has on equities. Uh, U.S. jobs uh, data is out later on as well. Wholesale inventories, durable goods as well. Uh, and uh, also apparently there's a, a press conference at uh, half past one as well from the ECB. So a lot of activity around half one. OK, so certainly is going to get more vol volatile. 12.45 is your uh, interest rate decision. So again, an hour and a half. We have to wait for that. Pending home sales later on. So a lot of uh, well, certainly a data deluge. Uh, also in terms of Kiwi, we have building permits and trade balance uh, again later on in the evening. So we'll see exactly how the, uh, the Kiwi responds to that as well. OK, so that certainly seems to be the status quo. Now, European equities certainly aren't budging at present, uh, even though we had Mr. Trump's uh, potential failed tax plan uh, coming into uh, certainly no fruition whatsoever. Uh, daily chart at the moment from the German DAX certainly remains above that breakout. OK, uh, doji candles uh, com being confirmed thus far. OK, so now we await Mr. Draghi and we'll see how Draghi, basically how the market responds to Draghi. At the moment, we're certainly overstretched, but the markets can remain, remain irrational and logical longer than me and you can remain solvent. So always remember that quote, okay? And that certainly is, is certainly has transpired this week, I can tell you that, uh, because I'm certainly insolvent in terms of my weekly point count at present. So uh, again, bear that in mind, okay? So uh, we currently have a gap, uh, gap lower on the uh, German DAX, now down gap lower quite substantially. Certainly holding that pivot support down here now uh, at present around the 1, 2, 4, 20 zone. Uh, adding the fact that you have got you've had stronger economic data from the eurozone as well, so I've certainly gone and closed my short position on the French CAC, which really only only gave me nine points. Now the FTSE really is the weakest link this morning on the back of obviously uh, the GBP hitting 1.29. Uh, a stronger euro certainly has failed to uh, hurt the uh, 
the actual uh, European indices as well. As you can see here, the euro certainly has been oscillating between 1.0920, now back down to 1.0890. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see how that responds. We hit a pivot that high at 1.0950, we reverse back to 1.0860, and we're back up to 1.0920. So again, it's uh, the onus really is on the ECB. Let's see how the ECB reacts. Now, you have a massive gap. Will Draghi talk the euro down to gap fill? Good question, okay. Or will Draghi fail to talk the euro and send the euro up to 1.1? Good question. Okay, it'll be interesting, especially post-Macron now. He really has a, um, a, a hedge, given the fact that European equities are at global, uh, are such a lofty height. So interesting. Let's see how the market reacts, okay. Let's just... Uh, Certainly remain neutral in our bias and uh, obviously adjust accordingly. Okay, now, uh, go moving on to the French CAC, let's see exactly where the French CAC is positioned. Okay, so French CAC hitting double bottom here now at the uh, 5262 zone. Okay, French CAC uh, was pay at high yesterday, it was 52.95 down to 52.60 at the moment. We have gap fill at 52.87. Let's see if we can close that gap on the back of stronger economic data that's just come out. From the eurozone okay again that, that gap there will certainly be a shorting opportunity obviously based on uh mr draghi's decision so let's see what mr draghi has to say i didn't also remember the fact that mr trump of uh, certainly uh, failed uh, overnight to uh, certainly uh, maintain the uh, the equity market rally so certainly take that on board as well okay so i'm certainly short the nasdaq at present and bias remains bearish on there okay that's the status quo in terms of the French CAC. And let's just quickly go into the 60 minute chart. Again, your double top is in, looking for a lower high. Daily chart as well. You've got two, three dojis, and now obviously bearish engulfing candle back down to cap fill. So don't be surprised if the French CAC hits that 5130 zone. Okay. In terms of the uh, FTSE 100, let's see exactly where we stand here. Let's start off with the daily chart. Daily chart already was into resistance into that Fib 61, so therefore looking for a reversal regardless. 60 minute chart at the moment is held at 200 ma certainly have a bear flag formation forming here so any retracement for me will certainly be a shorting opportunity folks okay if we get a pop back to 60 70 to 60 70 to 80 70 to 70 certainly will be looking to short that uh, index 10 minute chart at the moment certainly is potentially carving out a double bottom so bear that in mind in terms of the FTSE 100 certainly horizontal support seen to slow down at 70 to uh, 35 as well okay uh, the gap is quite substantial bear that in mind you've got a gap up to 7290 so again 7290 certainly comes into play if we pop up to uh, 7260 7290 will be a shorting opportunity for me in terms of the FTSE 100 so certainly take that into consideration okay now moving on to the um, euro stocks last but not least okay so certainly exhaustion on the daily chart okay i did highlight the fact that on the weekly we are into resistance okay in terms of the s p 500 s p 350 europe okay now 60 minute chart for me certainly equals a bull flag i'm oh, sorry a bear flag so any retracement now will be a shorting opportunity for me moving it lower so certainly seems like the ecb decision regardless of what it is certainly is going to be bearish okay so in terms of european indices i'll certainly be looking to short so if i take the pivot high from here connect it to this pivot high here any potential pop to gap fill certainly is a shorting opportunity. So 70, 35, 80, 35, 70, prime, prime shorting opportunity for me in terms of the euro stock. So again, hitting the double bottom. Support on European equities, okay? Going into the ECB presser. Okay, I think that's a good summation of European uh, equities. Uh, again, I've given you the summation or potential outcome in terms of euro down to gap fill or up to 1.1 based on what mr draghi has to say any indications or hint of tapering obviously will send equity spiraling lower on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly uh, visit trade signal for the latest app goodbye now